Hi, it's Malt bringing you another tutorial. This time it's for an automatic brewing station. Now, this design is pretty much Ethos, except it's a bit more compact. Uh, maybe it doesn't have the backlog storage that he does, but if you're building this, it's probably a better option, I would say. Just for in a survival world, because you may not want all the backlog potions. And as you can see, it doesn't really have all the same redstone, but the idea is basically the same. Um, pretty compact. And let's hop on over to the tutorial. And now for the uh, tutorial part of the video, what you want to start by is create a 8 by 7 by 5 hole in the ground where you want your potion brewery to be. And we're going to start by creating the hopper timer. So you want to put a hopper facing into there, hopper facing into there, comparator, block, redstone, and sticky piston. Another sticky piston here, comparator, block, and redstone. By the way, Full credit to Etho of Etho's Lab for this design. I will grab that. And you just want to put a block of redstone pretty much anywhere. And what you're going to want to do is get 28 blocks into this. And that will start working straight away. And the output can be taken from this redstone block. So we're just going to run some wire up here, put a block on top of there to stop it canoodling as uh, Mumbo would say. What you want to do is then put redstone there and redstone repeaters on full delay, four of them running this way with a block there, redstone there and a redstone torch placed on this block. Now you want to run the redstone up to this torch and over it so that when this comes back it will send a short pulse over here and the output is taken from here. Now what you want to do is three more repeaters set to full delay redstone here, redstone here, block up there to stop it canoodling again. And also the redstone here and here. Sticky piston there, block here. This will be the rapid pulsar. Just any type of thing that can hold an item. It could be a chest, it could be a dropper, it could be pretty much anything. You just want to put one item in there, a comparator, a redstone repeater, and then redstone running all the way here, and there you have it. That is your pulsar. Now the output from this is taken there, so you want to hook this one up to your droppers and this one up to the hoppers. And now I'm going to show you how to build the actual brewing setup itself. What you want to start by doing is placing a dropper three blocks away from your hole in the ground. You want to face it upwards and then have another dropper facing away from the hole. You want to have a hopper pointing at the block bottom dropper and you want to have a brewing stand on top of that hopper. Now, this part is special, but the rest you can just keep on doing. This is for the water bottles. You can put a chest on top. I'm not going to do that just yet. And what you have here is a setup which will allow the water bottles to come in but not being taken out and when they are being taken out no water bottles can come in so you want to have a redstone repeater there 
Another repeater there, set it to two ticks and redstone wire coming up there and a torch there. This means by default this will be powered and not able to receive any items but when this is powered this will be powered so it won't be able to send any items into there and this won't be this will be able to get the potions and put them in here so what you want to do is hook up your redstone like so just going to make a simple little Um, elevator for a redstone <laughs> and you just want to hook it up like that it's pretty simple and now we should see that when this clock goes on it sends a short pulse here yep you can see it right there working pretty well and what you want to do is continue this layout so you want to have another dropper facing upwards and then you can have another one facing there and you just continue this every one block apart shift click and you're there and you want to have enough for five of these one two three four five and this final one will be leading into a chest or hopper or however you want to transport your potions. So, yep, finish this up. Hoppers facing into all of them. And brewing stands on top. Now, if you want, you can just place... I potion ingredients directly into the brewing stands and that'll work but you can also have hoppers on top and just put a chest on top of those and feed the ingredients in via that chest so what you want to do now is put redstone repeaters facing in all into all the hoppers and run a line of redstone all the way over here and that will all be powered so none of your potions will get sucked out while they are being brewed and the wiring for the droppers is slightly more tricky you just wanna have a line of blocks facing here and a redstone torch on each of the locations of the droppers and we're going to wire this up I think this will work as an elevator we'll just see so you can see the clock is working fine it goes back pulses yep that works perfectly so we'll just do a simple on off sort of type thing and have redstone running up don't want that happening I can put redstone here and then what you want to do is just have this not doing that because the torch will burn out. You wanna just gonna have to replace that, but don't make that mistake. You wanna have a line of redstone going down the whole length of this, and you just wanna transmit your power. This also, by the way, you can do this on either side. This will work if you just put repeaters there, there, there you can do another line of this design over on the other side so what we're gonna do is actually just 
run this over into here and this will pulse and the droppers will get activated. Now, is that enough power or do I need a repeater? We'll just see if it reaches the back line. Yep, and it's working fine. So, that is almost it. This will work fine now, so if I just give myself some water bottles, you can see that this, this first one fills up with three. I'll just put some ingredients in, nether wart. And uh, let's make potions of regeneration. So, gas tears. And now you can have potions with five ingredients. Hey, you can have more, but there are no potions that can be brewed that require six ingredients. So, if we have this, need some time just to warm up. Maybe the first batch, if you put it in the wrong time, won't get brewed. But, as you can see, these are awkward potions, and I should probably add the gas tears. Oh, well, they're over here. And I'll add gunpowder as well. Make it splash potions. Oh, and maybe, uh, let's just add some redstone, because... That is the most important ingredient in anything. And if we get a chest going, you can have fancy little setups with hoppers and chests. Personally, this is the one that I like the best. You have a hopper pointing into that chest, and then you can place blocks here to cover it up and you have one hopper pointing into there and that should work we should be getting a lot of potions of regeneration as you can see this is working perfectly and that is pretty much it of course you can put chests on top of these and fill them with potion ingredients and you can also prettify it like I've done here that's pretty good and one other thing I thought I'd show you is how to do it on the other side it's exactly the same you just have a dropper facing upwards there, here, there, here, and so on. Have the hopper there, the brewing stand there, another hopper there, brewing stand there, and finally another hopper there. And you of course have You should probably move this redstone line just so that everything works. And you just put a piece of redstone running into here. I don't have any redstone. You just have a piece of redstone running into here. Actually, no, that's a repeater set to two ticks. And that's where you put your water bottles, and this should work fine. So, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. This is Malt, and 
this has been a good tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.